Week one of football Friday night tomorrow, of course, but tonight nearly 20 schools have either canceled or postponed games. Five News reporter Zoe Henry spoke with schools from our area about the planning that goes into making these decisions. Football Friday night. It's part of the culture here. Players work hard until the bright lights flash on, the announcer's voice booms, and the stands fill with fans in team colors. But tomorrow, several stadiums will be empty and the fields will be dark. As the fight against COVID-19 continues, football teams are being heavily impacted. Although Bentonville West's game for tomorrow is still on, the team is no stranger to missed games. It's a, it's a tough situation. It's a tough deal for these kids. You know, last year our season ended because of uh, having to cancel because of the, the virus and, and kids that have been either quarantined or had the virus. And so it, it was tough on those seniors. And, you know, you only get a chance to play high school football once. So people need to definitely make sure they're safe and, and uh, to avoid uh, having to miss games and, and that kind of stuff. The Rogers Mounties feel that pain. We were notified Monday morning uh, from Stillwell High School of the need to cancel due to COVID. Uh, at that time, we went into scramble mode to try to find an opponent for Friday. Um, and on short notice, that was difficult to do. So the game plan now is to try and find a new opponent for the teams by week. Other districts have found a loophole and postponed instead. The concern is it could potentially be a forfeit if you don't have enough players to, to play the games. Uh, the flexibility of, of our bye weeks with Siloam having the same bye week as, as us in this situation, we, we kind of caught a little bit of a break where we can just bump that game two weeks and hopefully be able to get it in. Unlike last season, the Arkansas Activities Association is now allowing teams to make decisions at the district level. As far as I know, I think that's kind of a, a district policy one way or the other. Uh, obviously, you know, if, if it puts your team in a bad situation and, and puts you and a, and a place where you may have to play some JV kids against somebody's really good varsity team, uh, you could get some kids hurt or something like that. You know, I think you have to look at that angle of it. All of this making for a very eventful week one of Football Friday Night. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Zoe Henry, 5 News. We do have a full list of games canceled, canceled on our website at 5newsonline.com. We'll, of course, uh, have that updated as any other schools make any changes.